Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tori and I love creating videos about living a more minimal and simple lifestyle. So for the past few years, I've been on a mission to have less stuff and be more intentional about the things that I bring into my home. This has led me down a journey towards minimalism and while I don't consider myself like a true minimalist, I am definitely striving towards that lifestyle of just having less stuff and making more room for the things that I truly love. During this journey towards minimalism and simplicity, I often come across people who have these like empty bare white walls and their homes are like pretty much empty, they don't have anything in them. And to be honest, that's not really something I want for myself. Not to say that there's anything wrong with that, I think if that's a way that you like to live, that's totally awesome. But personally, I love to have a beautifully decorated home and it's really important for me to have a home that feels homey and welcoming to both me and other people who walk through the doors. I also tend to like a really like boho eclectic style and I think that that's like pretty much impossible to do with minimalism because those two things like basically are opposite but I feel like my style is kind of minimalist, boho, and that's kind of what I strive for. So I wanted to share with you guys a few things that I keep in mind as I'm decorating my home in order to make my home both beautiful and cozy, but also minimalistic and simple. My first tip is to create an accent feature wall, or just like some sort of a structural accent feature. So instead of adding more things, instead of hanging a whole bunch of things on the walls or having more furniture or something like that, I love the idea of having a bold accent wall. So a few ways we've done that in our home is that we have a couple walls that are painted a bold color and we also have a faux brick wall in our house and I think that that adds so much dimension and interest without us having to have extra stuff. We've also done a faux beam in between our dining room and our living room and I feel like that just creates visual interest without having to have more things in our home, creating more clutter and more things to clean up. So I just love the idea of an accent wall or an accent feature of some sort in order to give your home more character with, without the stuff. This can also be done for so cheap, like a can of paint you can often get for like 20 or $30 to paint an, an entire wall and our faux brick wall and our faux beam both cost us under $50 to do. Okay, my next tip is to invest in good quality furniture that you really love. So basically the number one rule of furniture that comes into my home is that it has to be real wood. I hate any of this like cheap particle board, like fake wood super trendy furniture. I like my furniture to be super classic. And if it's real wood, then it gives you the opportunity to refinish it later. You can repaint it, you can restain it. And it just lasts years and years and years instead of only like a year or two before it's kind of starting to look rough. I also just like my furniture to kind of be the statement on its own instead of covering an ugly piece of furniture in like a million little like trinkets and decor items or like tablecloths or stuff like that. Obviously use what you have for now, but Facebook Marketplace and yard sales are an amazing place to get good quality furniture. And often all something needs is to be sanded down and restained and it'll be a beautiful piece of furniture for you you to use for years. My next tip is to decorate using plants. <laughs> and you probably aren't even surprised by this. I talk about house plants a lot on my channel. I love using plants to decorate and they're also just a hobby for me. I love collecting them. I love learning about them. I love what they look like in my space. I love that there's a health element to them. They're so good at purifying your air and I just find that they are so simple and still kind of allow for that minimalist decor without it feeling too empty and bare. And you obviously don't need to have a zillion plants like I do in my house, but just a couple plants, even one or two big plants really make a big statement in a room. And I personally just love what they look like. Okay, my next tip is to display things that you love. And I know that this kind of seems obvious and you're like, duh, Tori, like obviously I'm going to display things that I love in my home. But that also means get rid of the things that you don't love. So if you have a picture hanging up or if you have a plant or a rug or something that you don't love but you just kind of have, just get rid of it. You don't have to keep it. There's no reason why you need to hold on to something. I definitely get the guilt that sometimes goes along with that if something was a gift or if you spent money on something. There's a lot of guilt that comes along with getting rid of things. But the truth is, if you don't love it, if it's not making you happy every time you look at it, then there's no point keeping it anyway because it's not making you happy. So you've already wasted your money. So it's really just clutter and it's not adding to your life at all. So I just super encourage you to get rid of things, whether it's throw pillows or 
furniture or decor or whatever it is if you don't really love it get rid of it and maybe that'll even inspire you to find something or make something that you do love for that space but I love to decorate with things that I really, really love. Like all of my furniture, I really love. And most of the decor on my walls has a lot of meaning to me. The pictures behind me on these shelves have a lot of sentimental meaning. And I just love that because instead of having like random paintings that don't really mean anything, they're significant to our life. And I think sometimes this is a bit of a learning process to really find your style. But if you buy something and six months later you're not really loving it, don't hold on to it out of guilt. You can sell a lot of home decor stuff and you might be able to get half or 30% of what you paid for and then just invest that into buying some new stuff that you do really love. Okay, and then my next tip is to decorate with functional items. So instead of having like little knickknacks everywhere that don't really have a purpose other than to look at, and obviously there's nothing wrong with having some of those items. If you have like a little something that has no purpose but you just love it and it makes you so happy, by all means keep that, you don't have to get rid of it. But I love decorating with functional items. So using some beautiful wood cutting boards in my kitchen to decorate and those are also cutting boards that I use daily. I also have a couple cute little watering cans that I keep near my plants. And they're cute decor but they're also practical. My kitchen has a lot of functional decor just because there's not really space for any useless decor. So my KitchenAid is sitting on my counter kind of as decor. I think it's really pretty and it's also obviously functional and then I have some cookbooks displayed and I have my produce in a pretty basket and I love what that looks like. So instead of having all of those things put away somewhere, taking up cupboard space and then having other stuff, other random stuff as decor, I just love to use the things that I'm going to use anyway and have those as decor. And that also means that when I'm buying things, so if I go to buy a cutting board, instead of spending $6 on a really ugly one, I might spend $9 on a prettier one and spend a couple extra dollars to have things that are a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, but then I'm not gonna have to also buy decor items. And I'm just gonna have items that I really love. So personally, I find that it's worth it sometimes to spend the extra money. Obviously there's gonna be times where you just need to buy whatever's practical, but I love having my practical and functional items as home decor. I hope that you found these tips helpful. I absolutely believe that it's possible to have a minimal clutter-free home while still having beautiful decor that you love and that makes your home feel welcoming and cozy. If you have any other tips, I would love to hear them below. I'd love to hear the ways that you're maintaining a minimal home but also decorating your home to fit whatever style you like. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you'll check out the rest of the videos in my minimalism series and I will see you again in a few days. Mm -hmm.